In Hypixel Skyblock, mods play a pretty massive part in our gameplay. I mean, at this point, who doesn't use Skyblock add-ons? It's kind of become an absolute essential. And I mean, there are other mods like Skyblock Extras and Dungeon Utilities that do help out with the gameplay experience. But today, we're going to be focusing on Not Enough Updates, a brand new mod that has just been released to the public that makes some major improvements to the Skyblock gameplay experience. Have you ever wanted to check item prices on the fly? Maybe another person's profile while you're in-game? Or even just check the recipe or usages of different items? Well, strap in, because in this video, I'm going to show you everything this mod has to offer, and maybe after you watch it, you'll go download it for yourself. Timestamps are in the description if you have attention span of monkey, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. <clears throat> Before we get started, I should mention that NEU is compatible with basically every other Skyblock mod that's currently out there, and that includes Skyblock add-ons, dungeon utilities, Skyblock extras, and there might be some others, but I haven't heard of them or used them. So just know that if you're going to be installing it with other Skyblock mods, it should definitely work. So this is what you'll see when you open your inventory with NEU installed. It's a list of every single item in Skyblock. It's got all the enchantment books, all of the pets, and every other item. If you want to see the recipe for an item, you simply hover over it and press R. So like with these superior dragon leggings, you hover over it, press R, and there's the recipe. 70 superior frags. There is also some really nice sorting functionality to sort through all the different categories of items. I'm sure you guys will be able to figure out how that one works. Ah, just kidding, this is a YouTube video. I have to hold your hand through everything. We have alphabetic sorting, rarity sorting, and item value sorting. It also has sorting into a bunch of different categories. So accessories, armor, weapons and tools, pets, and mobs. So that's all pretty easy and simple. Well, the next thing is a lot more impressive. NEU has a built-in wiki renderer. So if you want to see some information about an item, you can right click on it and it will bring up the wiki page for that item in game right on your screen. And you can see that the wiki page rendered is exactly the same as the one shown on the actual wiki in your browser. This feature is essential for new players, but it's also really useful for older players who just want to check some information. The wiki renderer also works for the mob section, so if you want to check some drop rates or some slayer loot tables, it's right there at your fingertips. Another amazing feature the item viewer has is it shows you the AH and bin price of every single item in the game. So if you're doing some flipping and you don't know if something is going for below market value, you can just search it up in the item viewer and you will know the price instantly. This will save you a lot of time because you won't have to go and check the prices at some website or discord bot. The item viewer also has the capability to highlight certain items that you've searched for in your inventory and it also allows you to check the usages of items by pressing U. The next really nice quality of life feature that this mod has are these quick command buttons. Say I wanted to open my crafting table, bang, instantly opens, no need to use your nether star, and for people with high ping, this is a lifesaver. There are buttons for opening your crafting table, your ender chest, your wardrobe, warping to the hub, and warping back to your island. There are also two extra buttons for features that we'll talk about in a little bit. Now the next feature is the collection log. It's a little bit useless, but it's a really cool feature nonetheless. What the collection log does is it shows you every single item you've held in Skyblock. It only works for items that you've held while using the mod, so keep that in mind if you're wondering why certain items haven't appeared. It's just a nice little feature for collectors and completionists. So if you wanted to get every sword in Skyblock, you could filter it by swords, and it would show you which ones you've held and which ones you still need to get. The next few features in this mod require you to put an API key in. So if a feature doesn't work, make sure you've put in your API key. Even I made this mistake when I was trying to review the mod because I didn't realize I hadn't put my API key in. So all you have to do is do slash API new, copy the number that shows up, and paste it into here in the settings. Once you've done that, all the rest of the features should work. This next feature is by far one of the most impressive features of this mod. This is the NEU Auction House. It's a fully customized auction house that has the ability to completely replace the one that you would normally use in the hub. You can access it from anywhere just by pressing the little gold block in the quick commands tab. Here's an example of how you could use this auction house in a way that wouldn't be possible if you were just using the normal auction house. Say you wanted to flip clean AOTDs. You could search dragons to filter for AOTDs, and then you could filter by clean only to find all of the clean AOTDs. 
Now, filtering by clean only isn't possible on the normal auction house. So that's just one example of how this just has a lot more extra little features that you wouldn't normally get by using the main auction house. Using this auction house in combination with the price checker in the item viewer can give you a massive advantage over the other people who are trying to AH flip too. To buy an item from the NEU auction house, you just click on the item, say I wanted to buy a jungle axe, and a little bid window will pop out with all the normal information, and then you can just submit a bid. But yeah, there is so much functionality packed into this tiny little auction house. I would just recommend to download it and try it out and see if you like it. Another feature that this mod has is an in-game profile viewer. So if you've ever seen Sky Leah Mo, you'll know what I'm talking about here. Basically, you can do slash PV and then any player's IGN and it will show you everything related to that player's stats. And so you can see here, it's got all of my stats. You can see my beautiful Carpentry 50. It's got a bunch of extra information like your bank balance, the most mobs you've killed, your auction stats, and just other things like that. It's got your ender chest, your inventory, and all of your items, your potion bag, fishing bag, wardrobe, everything related to that. It also has all of your collections, minions, and pets. So if you've ever seen a stacked player in game and you wanna see what items they have and how rich they are, you can just do slash PV and then their IGN and it will show you everything related to them. No longer do you have to go out of your game and into a browser to try and figure out what the person's stats are. Again, it's just all about bringing the information right to your fingertips and just reducing the amount of effort required. The final cool little feature that this mod has, it's just a nice little quality of life thing is that all of the max level enchants get a different color than the normal blue. And so you can see that on my AOTD, the looting four, Lux six, and scav four enchants are purple, which means that they are maxed. There's also a bunch of config for this, but it's very complicated. I have no clue how it works. Mulberry made a video on it. So if you wanna go look at that, I'll link it in the description. So that's about it for this mod. If you want to try it out, all the links will be in the description. If you have any problems with it, join Mulberry's Discord and I'm sure some people in there will help you out. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye.